Hello everybody and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, we're about to fight a boss. Uh, let me just check my HP and such. Mm, I we could use some mushrooms. There we go. Eh, our BP is fine. I'll just eat some syrups while, while we're there. Eh, let's just wait for it. Oh, we're too late. The bean star. <laughs> the Bean Star and Peach's Peach's voice are already mine. Once you awoken the Bean Star with Pe Princess Peach's voice, the world will be kept little snack cook. Say, Mario, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Bean. I thought you had better manners, wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? Oh, Jesus. It's She-Hulk. Perhaps the three of you can sit down over tea and discuss the finer points of foreign policy. Well, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Queen Bean's been working out. Okay, this is Queen Bean. You're going to want to double dodge her attacks, and I uh, didn't do a good job of that. What you're going to want to do at first is attack her fists because if you attack her head it's technically ah oh, I missed it's technically both up above the ground so you can't hit it with a hammer and spiky oh man I screwed up on that one also she has this shockwave attack when it's one arm is quick when it's two arms it's slow but powerful as you can see I took some damage from it earlier ah. As you can see, Mario's ponage level is immense. Oh, here she's gonna belch beans, and if you act, if you counter one of these beans, it'll turn into a beanie. So you're gonna want to watch out for that because it gives for a little extra attacking power, and they're kind of annoying. So just gonna want to hammer her as much as you can. <laughs> Friday nickel. But yes, if you just if you just focus and do as much damage as possible, use items wisely, you should do fine on this battle. She will rege regenerate her arms and get her crown back eventually, but, ugh, wait for it, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid these beanie beans, ah, oh, what the hell, there you go, showed you one, see, it turns into a beanie. Mmm, I'll have one more smash, slash, smash bros, no, splash bros, not slash bros, although that would be kind of sweet. Mmm, I'll get one more shot in there with Luigi before I use a syrup. Aw, oh, man. It's not easy doing commentary while I'm trying to, ah, oh, there we go. She should regenerate her arms. And when she does that, she kills the thing. Um, hmm. Waste a Mario attack? Ah, oh, hell. I'll just have him use some syrup on himself. And I think Luigi's got enough for Bounce Bros. Yeah, it's not going to be as powerful as Mario's. Splash Bros, because his ponage level is not as high. But, oh well. Alright, let's do some damage. Up, 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 Yeah, as you can see, Mario is doing immense damage. Because he's got a gigantic bone level. He's getting even bigger after this. Ah, uh, blah! Gotta be careful on that one. Oh, Queen Bean, somebody's been hitting the gym. Aw, oh, man. And now somebody just looks like they let themselves go. I'm going to be avoiding the beans from now on. It's pretty easy to tell who she's attacking. Ah, oh, damn it. But you can always just double double jump. That's kind of a flaw in this game. You don't really have to even look for the tell if you can... Ah, there we go. If you can figure out the... Oh, yeah. If there's still a beanie, it, it come, ends up having a very unepic end to the battle you haven't killed the beanie alright we get some items and some XP 
and now Queen Bean is down. Oh no, Calculus has forced Queen, Queen Bean to eat Belly Blit. Wait, Belly Blast Worm. Uh, I'm calling him Belly Black. Belly Black Worms. That's what turned her into this. Our fair kingdom is doomed. Doomed! How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? We'll do it somehow. Well, what's that, you say? The Mario Bros will do something about that? Yeah, just get a plunger and... Oh, wait, no. Let's go Dr. Mario on her. Throw some pills down her throat, and that should help. What can you possibly mean? You speak the impossible. Why, there's no known way to spit out the in an ingested belly bleh. Well, except there is that one way, that last resort. It sure is, isn't pretty, though. I don't care. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola Reserve from, Ch from Chuckle Huck Woods. Then we'll go get that. I can go for, for a good cola. You'll go to Chuckle Huck Woods? Yeah, why not? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Yes. Well, if you're going to make such a bold proclamation, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. No choice. <laughs> Luigi's just poking her. I find that amazing. Oh, Luigi. Is Luigi my favorite bro? Take this bean bean brooch and head southwest from the castle towards Chaketu de Chuckleha. Chet, whatever. Chateau de Chuckleha. If you find the, the Chocola Reserve hidden deep in Chuckle Huck Woods, your our queen may not recover. Yeah, she's not our queen. We're from the Mushroom Kingdom. You got the Bean Bean brooch. Come on, Luigi. Stop poking the queen. <laughs> Try the nickel. Well, replace Luigi with various other people. And then if I had a nickel. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just move on and... Mario! Luigi! Huh? Lady Lima has asked that I, you also take this along with you. You got a bean badge. That thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be a little stronger in battle. Ah, yes, badges. Different badges have different effects, so... For now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select it to open your suitcase. Alright, do a little tutorial on badges. To equip badges, select this icon. Here you can see gear and the badges you equipped with. Okay, time to give. Time to equip the badge I just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you have are shown. Normally you pick a badge. It's simple this time, since you only have one right now. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Yep. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. He pokes him. Oh, uh, sorry Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. Come on, Luigi. <laughs> he just pushes him. Oh man, this game is hilarious. Well, let's go do just that. Let's go buy Luigi a badge, and maybe some new pants. The only ones who still worry about fashion despite our town's crisis are real celebrities. I have to set prices that won't discredit this place as a high-class boutique. Okay, so, yeah, stuff's gonna be pricey. We don't have that many. We're just gonna need to buy uh, a good badge for Luigi. Yes, one equipped to Luigi. There we go, and let's check out the pants. Oh man, those are expensive. Hmm. Can we afford these? I, I don't think so. Can we? Yeah, I think so. And they'd be good on both Mario and Luigi. Let's see, bean pants. You know what? I'll, I'll buy two of these bean trousers and give them both to both Mario and Luigi. We don't have any coins now, but now we're gonna be now we're gonna be a lot better off now that we've got better equipment. You know, 
I better sell our old equipment as well. It's not going to be worth much, but hey. Work pants. Every coin helps. And when we get home, we're going to be rich. Because apparently, bean bean coins are ten times what they are in the Mushroom Kingdom. Thank you for that lesson in economics, Tolster. I mean, Toaster. Uh, back to killing everything! Ah. Yeah, those are incredibly easy now. Hey, there's a new enemy! Come on, little bean guy. I believe it's called a para beanie. Come on! Ah, I was trying to first strike it. Oh well, this is a para beanie. They're pretty strong, but once you hit them, they lose their... Oh, it's the first time I've actually countered with a hammer. They actually lose their wings and become regular beanies. You'll see the stats. They're not that powerful. But still, something to look out for. Un until they're regular beanies again, then they're just, like, worthless. Okay, then. We're supposed to go this way. Die! No, I mean die! Die! Oh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk again. <laughs> uh, wait for it. Alright, what we're going to want to do is go up here. I will ignore you. You get to live. Go tell your friends. And... Ah, oh, curse you, Parabini. I must kill you. This is just my way. Alright, I think there's uh, another little spiny guy around here. No? Okay. Okay, we're going to need to go across that bridge. See, by killing everything, I, I assure that I'm at least... That I'm at least at a good level, so I don't get destroyed by bosses. If you do that, bosses are going to be easy in this game. This game is not hard. Travel here is, is permitted only for the, for select individuals in order to guard the Chucklehook Woods ecology. We've got the Bean Bean Brooch, dude. Oh, the Bean Bean Brooch, the mark of a special guest of Bean Bean Castle. Very well, then you sh we shall permit you to enter these woods. I like how your gates just sink to the ground. Yeah, it's nice. We hope you will enjoy a taste of the incredibly full flavor Chocola Cola while you, while you are here. Yeah, let's go get some cola, have a few drinks, and return back to the princess or queen bean. I mean, I forgot this place actually has a this place actually has a queen. Yet the Mushroom Kingdom is ruled by Princess Peach. Is it just is Mushroom Kingdom a principality? Hmm. Principality meaning a uh, kingdom run by a prince or princess. I learned that from my British friend. Yeah, die, die! My British friend who will be spared w when I enact my plan to destroy all of England. Because she's got nice tits. Hmm. Brewing Chocola Cola, step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola Fruit, which is, grows only in ch uh, Chucklehuck Woods. Brewing Chocola Cola Step 2. Place one Chocola Fruit in the barrel that's been filled with, to the brim with savory syrup. Alright. Three. Brewing Chocola Cola Step 3. Tell funny jokes to a fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. <laughs> you gotta tell jokes to it? That's amazing. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the, the brewing process. So if you tell the dirty joke, will it come out dirty? Father Chocola Cola, first generation ch ch owner bowls. Alright. Well, I've got a joke for, for your Chocola fruits. Alright. Man walks into a bar, and in the bar, there's a jar. This, is gonna, this puzzle's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna give you this joke. Okay, in the bar, there's a jar, a jar full of, full of, uh, ones. He asks the bartender, hey, what's with the jar? And he says, you want to figure out? Put a dollar inside. You, you could win the whole thing. He, the man says, mm, all right, I'll, I'll go along with that. So, so he puts a dollar in. And the bartender says, okay, what you got to do is, um, what you got to do is, 
is chug an entire bottle of vodka. He pulls out a bottle of vodka and places it on the, on the table. So the, uh, the man says, okay, I'll do that. The bartender says, wait, that's only step one. That's only step one of three. The, the second is you go out back and there's a, there's a dog with a sore tooth, an angry bulldog. You're going to need to pull the tooth out with your bare hands. Says, um, okay, maybe. And says the third step is there's a 90-year-old woman upstairs uh, on the second floor. And you're going to need to bang her. And the, and the guy says, you know what, fuck that up. Just give me some whiskey. So the, the guy gets a few drinks in him, gets a little drunk. He's like, you know what, give me that damn bottle. And so the bartender says, uh, okay, here. So he chugs the bottle, and he, like, winces. But the, the bartender says, all right, that, that's good enough. Dog's out back. So he goes back, you all hear all kinds of barking and yelling and screaming, blood curdling screams. And the guy comes back covered in blood and he says, Okay, where's the old woman with the sore tooth? <laughs> Get it? He fucked the dog. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? Luigi, there you are. He was laughing so hard at that joke. But who's that robber looking guy? We better go find out. Oh, Boo Blast Cremony, the famous shadow thief Popple, has been caught in full sight. Cripes, you think you're, you're ready, do ya? Well, nobody's more ready than me, see? I'll show you. Rookie, rookie, shake a leg. Unfortunately, we're coming up on our time limit. So, we will meet Rookie in the next episode. This is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.